Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, blue shaded circle completely inscribed by this uh, trapezoid ABCD. As you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, these uh, two side lengths AB and this uh, CD are parallel to each other. And moreover, this side length AB is uh, 21 units, whereas this side length CD is uh, 9 units. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, blue shaded circle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, quadrilateral ABCD. We call such kind of quadrilateral uh, tangential quadrilateral. And here's the definition of a tangential quadrilateral. A quadrilateral whose sides are all tangent to a single circle within that uh, quadrilateral as you can see in this uh, diagram where we can see that all of its uh, sides are tangent to the very same uh, circle over here over here over here and over here as well and now let's recall the Pettit theorem according to this uh, theorem in a tangential quadrilateral the sum of uh, its two opposite sides are equal in other words this uh, side length uh, AD plus uh, this uh, side length uh, BC equals to the sum of the other two side lengths uh, AB plus uh, this uh, side length uh, CD. And now if you are wondering how come AD plus BC equals to AB plus CD, so let me go ahead and give you a pretty quick uh, proof. And now let's assume that this, uh, these points uh, E, F, M and N are our points of uh, tangency. Let me go ahead and call uh, this uh, line segment uh, DM as uh, X. Let me call this side length MA as Y. And likewise, let me call this side length CN as Z and this side length NB as W. And now let's recall the two tangent theorem. According to this theorem, if two tangent segments are drawn to one circle from the very same external point, then they are congruent as you can see in this uh, diagram. So therefore, we can see in our case, uh, if this side length uh, is x, then uh, this side length has got to be x uh, as well. And likewise, if this side length is y, then uh, this uh, side length uh, is going to be y as well. And if this uh, side length is z, then this side length uh, has got to be z as well and finally if this side length is w then uh, this uh, side length uh, is going to be w as well according to this uh, two tangent theorem and now we can see this whole side length uh, ad is going to be x plus uh, y let me go ahead and replace this ad by x plus uh, y plus and the length of uh, this whole side length uh, BC is going to be Z plus uh, W. Let me go and write down Z plus uh, W. Now let's focus on this uh, side length uh, AB. This is uh, Y plus uh, W. Let me go ahead and replace this uh, AB by Y plus uh, W plus uh, and this uh, side length uh, CD is going to be X plus uh, Z. So let me go ahead and write down X plus uh, Z. And now we can see on the left hand side of this equation is X plus Y plus Z plus W. And the right hand side of this uh, equation is X plus Y plus Z plus W. So therefore, this is indeed a true statement. So therefore, we are going to conclude that AD plus BC is indeed equal to AB plus CD. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, diameter uh, PQ. 
Now let's recall the circular theorem. According to this theorem, the angle between the radius and the tangent will always be 90 degrees. Now we know that this AB is tangent to this blue circle and this is our diameter. So no wonder this angle is 90 degrees. Let's assume that this radius of this blue circle is lowercase r. Then this is going to be lowercase r as well as the radius. So that's the total length of this diameter is going to be r plus r is going to make 2r. Now we can see that this side length pq is equal to this side length ad. So therefore if this one is 2r then this length is going to be 2r as well. Now let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. We know our ad is 2r so therefore I'm going to replace this uh, AD by 2r plus uh, BC equal to our length uh, AB is 21 and our length uh, CD is uh, 9 so therefore I'm going to replace this one by 21 plus uh, 9 so therefore let's combine the like terms uh, 2r plus uh, BC is going to be 30 Let's move this 2R on the other side. So therefore, our BC length is going to be 30 minus 2R. So therefore, our this side length BC turns out to be 30 minus 2R. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and drop a perpendicular from this uh, point C onto this uh, line AB as you can see in this uh, next uh, diagram and now we can see that these uh, two side lengths uh, this one and this one they are equal in length if this is 2r this side length is going to be 2r as well and now we can see that this uh, side length uh, cd is uh, 9 units so therefore this uh, side length uh, ae is going to be 9 units as well since we are dealing with this uh, rectangle and we know that this whole length uh, is AB is 21 and this length AE is 9 so therefore this uh, length EB is going to be 21 minus uh, 9 is going to be 12 units and now let's focus on this uh, triangle BEC whose uh, side lengths are 12 2r and 30 minus 2r and we know that this is a right uh, triangle so therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem and here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square let me go ahead and call our this longest leg side c I'm going to call this side a and this uh, side b so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula a in our case is 12 so this is going to become 12 square plus b is 2r so this is going to become 2r square equal to c in our case is 30 minus 2r whole square now let's go ahead and simplify this equation 12 square is 144 plus this is going to become 4r square equals to and now let's recall this famous identity a minus b whole square we are going to apply it uh, on this uh, right hand side of this equation so therefore this is going to become uh, 900 minus 120 r plus uh, 4 r square and now we can see this 4 r square and this 4 r square they are gone let me go ahead and move this uh, negative 120 r on the left hand side and at the very same time i'm going to move this uh, 144 on the other side as well as you can see in this uh, next step this uh, negative 120 r has become positive 120 r as we move it on the left hand side and this uh, 144 becomes a negative 144 on the right hand side so therefore this is going to become 120 r equal to 756 on the right hand side and now let's divide both sides by 120 to isolate r so therefore our radius r value turns out to be if we reduce the right hand side that is going to give us 
63 divided by 10. So this is our R value. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, blue circle. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula. Area equals to pi r square. In our case, our radius r is 63 divided by 10. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So the area of this uh, blue shaded circle is going to be pi times 63 divided by 10 whole square. So the area is going to be, if we simplify the right hand side, that is going to be 39 69 divided by 100 pi unit square. And if we replace this uh, pi value, then our this area is going to be approximately equal to 124.69 square units. So thus the area of this blue shaded circle turns out to be approximately equal to 124.69 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.